Hello, Tom from Never Center here, and I'm going to show you in this video the new features we've got in Camera Bag 2025.0, our new 2025 version. Um, and I'll be using Camera Bag Pro here, but this is uh, these features apply to both Photo and Pro, except of course uh, using this on videos. So I've got this video loaded here of this uh, girl dancing, sort of one of your TikTok or other social media kind of dances. Um, but say that I want to share this to multiple uh, social media sites. Well, this next version of Camera Bag, we've got you covered um, with this new set of social media sizing presets. And this will crop and size your media, whether that be photo or video, to all the different um, Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and YouTube uh, sizes, the dimensions, the max dimensions you can use for several things. So like for example this all square crop will crop it square and give you the uh, the maximum dimension um, uploadable to Instagram and other services um, and uh, all square fill will do the same thing but instead of cropping it it will add bars either to the side or the top to make it square and you can always come in and change the color of that if you want to. Uh, but you get the point. There's different ones for... Uh, TikTok has diff slightly different dimensions for some things and Twitter. But all of your social media sizing uh, options are right there. And you may find that, like on this video for example, it's already basically the, the aspect ratio to be for, for Instagram Reels or TikToks. But what if I think that, you know, there's too much blank space at the top there and I want to bring this down maybe. And so now I've got my dancing, but the, the dancer is more centered. And I can come back to these presets. And now when I do like the, um, the Instagram stories crop, that'll crop just a little bit off the sides, uh, a little bit more off the sides so that it's now the right aspect ratio and export size 1080 by 1920 for Instagram. Um, so, uh, just to explain some of these others, this uh, Instagram post tallest crop. So these are for posts that go in the, the feed. Um, this is the tallest uh, image or video that will show entirely in the preview in the feed. So that's uh, 1080 by 1350. And there's a a crop version for that and the fill version for that. Oops, I did the, the stories fill. Uh, tallest post fill. There we go. So anyway, you've got um, basically all that you need here. Now you'll notice that I've starred three of these and that leads us to our next feature um, which is to be able to uh, export multiple presets um, all in one go. And so this is under the file menu, multi-export using. You can either use starred presets or session presets. We'll probably add another option in the very near future to choose a folder that has presets saved in a folder. Um, but for now, either you star them or you add them to your session presets. And session presets, if you have anything like if I wanted to do these three, I'll just load each, hit the, uh, the plus equals button, and then it puts it in a session preset and then I do that for the next one plus equals the next one plus equals then they're loaded into my session presets also but we're going to use our starred presets for this and before we do that let's just do a little adjustment so I can show uh, one other interesting feature in this version of camera bag um, so maybe we've got a tone curve here let's make it work with luminance so it's more it doesn't get oversaturated kind of has this nice um, kind of washed out but still contrasty look and um, but with the with the curve editor here and with all curve editors in camera bag now you can right click and there are options to copy the curve and paste it to another adjustment or to reset it or to do one of these presets so like a two-point curve is just what you start with these two endpoints um, four-point curve that's one, two, three, four. Adds two in the. Whoops, added that one by clicking. Adds two um, along the line at a, a third of the way each. And that can be handy. 
Um, if I do the five point curve, that one's a nice one for just adjusting the um, shadows and highlights separately. So um, anyway, those are some, some handy uh, right click tools that you can put in your, or that you can use in any of your curves that you're using camera bag. So let's just give this a little bit of this kind of a look. Now, if I want to have the current adjustments applied in addition to these presets I'm going to export, I need to pin whatever I want to, to be preserved. Um, so pinning that will make it apply this tone curve and then um, whatever my multi-export is going to export to. So we'll go to that multi-export using and start presets. And it says, when exporting your media with multiple presets, saved files will have your chosen file name with the file name of each preset appended and any existing files with the same name will be overwritten. That's important if you're, um, if you're saving in the same place as other files, that the name of this is going to be whatever I name it, plus the filter name with a dash, and then um, it will just overwrite existing files if there are conflicts. So the sizing here actually won't matter because all of these have sizing built in, um, but the file type and quality will. So then we'll cho choose where to save this. Um, I'll just have this social folder preset up. I'm going to choose dancing. And now when I hit save, it's just going to start processing these, these three um, versions of it one at a time. And you can see that it, like it's, it's naming this dancing dash IG post tallest, dancing dash all square fill. And those will process real quick. And then we can go to those files. And now you'll see here's the all square version that will uh, that just fills out the square. Here's the tallest crop that will fit in Instagram post. And then here's the stories crop. So one click for all of those. And of course you can do things like, um, like add text. If you had some kind of text you want to put on there, this can be kind of a cool way to do that. And it works with all the different, um, all the different crops. Um, so you can sort of see how it will go for each of these. I guess this one, it, it, uh, I need to make it a little bit skinnier so that it doesn't go into the white border there. There, now we'll work in all the crops. Anyway, um, very handy tool for, for social media stuff and for lots of other uses also. This, you know, this doesn't just work with sizing. It will work with any number of presets and maybe you're using session presets and you you go through a given photo or video and you've got like 20 different looks that you've sort of created in your session and you've saved them in session presets at the end of it all if you still can't decide you just go multi-export using session presets and save all 20 of those versions into some folder and then decide later um, so lots of uses for it but we hope that uh, you'll enjoy this version. There's some bug fixes, particularly concerning uh, files, file paths with characters that are non-English. There were some that were still causing troubles, and we think we've squashed uh, most or all of those. So let us know what you think in the comments, and we hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks.